I mentioned the first series, Tommy. What do you think it is? It's in the East. It's in the East. It's your team. It's not the Bulls, by the way. It's your team. It's your it's your pick to win it all. I was gonna say it's not it's not the Bulls because I don't think we could spend about nine seconds on that series. Um, I think the the Brooklyn Brooklyn Boston is going to be really 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 interesting. I don't think there was really any surprise to me that Brooklyn won that game. So I don't we don't need to talk a, a ton about that. My one observation from the game, I've brought this up a number of times. I have some questions about Brooklyn defensively, and to me, Kevin Durant was the best defender on the floor last night. Individually, help side, he made a ton of amazing defensive plays, and he's got to be that. Obviously, Bruce Brown is also a really good defender, but Kevin has got to be their best defender. That was my one observation from the game. He was that last night. Obviously, we know he can get buckets, and Kyrie can get buckets, and shout out to Bruce Brown, who's playing great the last month or so. Um, and, and he's always been solid, but his his numbers have really taken a, a huge uptick. I love how they use him in that short short roll area. I'm I'm riding with the Nets. I think the Net, I think if Will if Robert Williams was playing, I think it might be a different conversation. Boston was clearly on fire when they were all locked in. Um, but I I go by best player in the series, and and the Nets have it. And we, we just talked about with with Kevin last night. I think they have the best player in the series, and I think they have. You can make the argument they have the two best players in the series. I'm not sure I would go that far, but you could. There's definitely a case to be made that they have the two best players in the series. And when you have that, you are at your your 25 feet ahead in a matchup. I mean, what do you think? You you've been high on the Celtics since about January, since before we went up there, and then you've also talked a lot about the Nets defense, which is which is legit. We've we've been, we've both gone to a bunch of games. Have you seen anything in the last two or three weeks that changes your mind about this series? I've seen Kevin Durant. <laughs> I've seen Kevin Durant. And, and look, we know Kyrie is a shot maker. I mentioned Kevin's defense earlier. Since he's been back from injury, I, I, I don't quote me on these stats, but I think Kevin's at 30 points a game, a little over seven rebounds a game, a little over um, seven assists a game, and at 50-40-90. And what's been really impressive to me about Kevin's game, and I mentioned this when we we had him on the pod, was just making the right play. His playmaking has been so good. He's had a number of double-digit assist games, including last night. Um, and then he knows when to score down the stretch. This is going to be a challenging series for the Celtics. And I'm, I'm not going to sit here and make any predictions on any of these playoff series. But I, I will say this. You need e multiple elite defenders to have any chance of making it tough on Kyrie and Kevin. And, and Boston has that. Boston has that. And the question is, of course, can Boston, and, and I think they will, can Boston exploit and target the, the lack of great individual defenders in total that Brooklyn has? Because Bo Boston has so many guys that can, that, that can punish matchups.